see you tomorrow night. Only if I'm breathing. Hey, good night, Toots. Can't go home. I can imagine Iggy practicing his trombone lesson all night long. <sighs> Too bad I got a weakness for music lovers. I know. That old empty lot. This looks like a nice, quiet spot. <clears throat> well, Ferguson, how's it coming? You know that you have only two weeks left to finish the house. We don't want to have to move twice. After all, it would be so upsetting to Josephine here. And believe me, oh, when I'm upset, everybody is upset. Uh, don't worry about a thing, Mr. and Miss McGill. Whew. Smells like rotten fish around here. I wonder why the McGills don't notice. I certainly hope that he is not referring to my favorite perfume, Eau de Canary. I had it imported special. I assure you this house will be finished in two weeks as promised. All right, man. Let's get to work. Wow! See what happens when you don't keep track of things? I was sleeping in the way of progress. Hmm, something around here smells like rotten fish. Hey, <laughs> I have to visit this block more often. But right now, I gotta find a place to sleep. Uh, preferably one without a housing project going on. Hey, look, boys. We woke up the cat. <laughs> Maybe wants to help build a house. Here, boy. You want a nice ride in the cement mixer? <laughs> These comedians are gonna be sorry. <laughs> I gotta wash this quick dried cement off before it hardens. When they said that cement was quick drying, they weren't fooling. I'll get you, cat! That's what they all say. I need a little help, and you are the littlest help I could think of. Help yourself, Cat. I got problems of my own. For instance, sore feet from being chased by you. You don't know what trouble is, Mouse. Help me or find out just how bad your problems can get. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're gonna wish all you had was tired feet. All right, you big bully. Is it worth half a pound of cheese? Uh, sure. I ain't unreasonable. Um, now, here's what I want you to do. You want to slide the frame of the so I'll get it for the see if I can't come with you, so... Look at that! I wonder where Heathcliff is going with that army of mice. Go get him, boys! For cheese and tired feet!
Keep it moving, boys. In the morning, there'll be a nice little something in your mouse hole from the Grateful Household. There he is, Spike. There's that old dog catcher running down the street with his big nip. You know who he's after, Spike. No. Why, he's after you, Spike. No! Here comes the dog catcher! Look out, man! Here comes that cat again! No cat's gonna make a fool out of me! As long as I have tools, I'm gonna build this house as many times as I gotta. Well then, Master Builder, I'm just gonna have to take your tools away. Spike's okay for the rough and tumble jobs, but for more delicate work, I need somebody with a little class. Heathcliff! I'm so glad you stopped playing with those nasty old mice. Where would you like to walk today, Heathcliff? That's a wonderful direction. I know we've had some problems, men, but as long as we have our tools, we can meet any deadline, even one that's two weeks away. Well, here we are, Heathcliff. Time for my famous disappearing tool trick. No cat is gonna stop us! If those guys hadn't laughed at me, I could be sleeping in this carriage instead of hiding hardware in it. And together, we can get this job done. Isn't that cute? Heathcliff is playing hide-and-go-seek with the workman's tools. Marcy's terrific. I'm glad she's on my side. Better go down, baby. It's dangerous up here. Might fall down, go boom. What has Baby got behind his back? Better give me that nasty old saw before Baby cuts himself. <laughs> he was right. I can't do anything without tools. I smell rotten fish. Hmm. Hi there, big, strong, and furry. I should have known that rotten fish smell is eau de cannery, my favorite perfume. Well, Ferguson, it looks as if we won't be able to move into this house in two months, let alone two weeks. Please, give me a chance. I, I never missed a deadline before. No, I'm sorry, Ferguson. Mrs. McGill, our cat, and I will have to look for a different place to live. Oh, no, I gotta do something about this. Heathcliff, what are you doing? I don't see how we can have any faith in a contractor who keeps his tools in a <laughs> baby buggy. If I learned to control my temper, that beautiful cat would be living in my neighborhood. What's the matter, Heathcliff? Poor baby. You look as if you've lost your best friend. What's that? Smells like eau de cannery. Yeah. Any cat who would wear eau de cannery is some kind of hussy. I'm surprised that you'd even look at a cat like that. Well, I, uh, I look at her the, the, the same way I look at you. Heathcliff! I mean, uh, uh, um, I look at her differently than I, than I look at you, yeah. What you're looking for is a fat lip. That'll look great on my big fat mouth. Yeesh! <laughs> That'd be all right. We could light a fire and get real cozy. Yeah.
Wouldn't that be romantic? Oh, let's go, Riffy. You can arrange it, can't you? Sweetheart, I can arrange anything. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a first-class trip, Riff Raff. And I thought it was going to be just you and me. Why do we always have to bring these guys along? It won't be so bad. I need these guys along to carry the ski stuff. Ski Mountain First Class Mail. <laughs> Farm Equipment Destination Africa. That gets rid of these troublemakers once and for all. a little warm for skiing. <laughs> Say, this doesn't look like Ski Mountain. Where's the snow? Say, pal, which way to Ski Mountain? <laughs> ski Mountain? There isn't no skiing for miles around here. You're in the wildest jungles of Africa, my friend. <laughs> Africa? What are you talking about? We're going skiing and that's that. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know about this place. I hope you enjoy the entertainment while you still can. <laughs> well, Riff Raff, how are you going to get us out of this one? Yeah, what are we going to do? We're in trouble. Okay, everybody, keep cool. I got a plan. Hey, you guys! My pal Riff Raff here's got a plan, and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, this is what we're gonna do. Okay. One, two, three. Just a little more. Come on, Mongo. Come on, let's get out of here. Look over there. We can find those birds out of here. Stop! The cats have escaped. Find them. Don't let them get away. Hey, Riffy, you enjoying the ride? Get this bird going, Cleo. These guys ain't laughing anymore. Hey! Well, what's going on? I can't see a thing. We gotta shake these hyenas. Get ready to follow me, Cleo. Gotcha, Riffy. <laughs> Man, what a plan! We left those dogs on the land. Yeah, we left them, didn't we, guys? Sure, Mongo. We left them good. Yeah, fellas. You might say we left them hanging high and dry. <laughs> <laughs> Look over there. That looks like a good place to pull in. I don't see any trouble.
you could say that again. Can we do it one more time? Can we? Can we? Trouble. Gotta think fast. Put some claws in your mug. We're going over the fall. This is it. Hold on to me, everybody. Now! <laughs> Boy, that was a close call. You can say that again. Boy, that was a close call. Get out of here. Nice going, Riffy. We could have been goners. No problem. Now let's get out of this place. Not so fast! So, you thought you could get away, did you? Well, we have a little surprise for you. Well, wise guy, what are you gonna do now? You got me into this mess and all I wanted to do was go skiing for the weekend. What do you expect from me? What can you do when you have to deal with a bunch of hyenas? That's it. Hyenas. Laughing hyenas. You get it, Cleo? They're laughing hyenas. Well, it's worth a try. Hey, Chiefy, got a minute? Yeah, I guess I have a minute. What do you want? Let's say this is your last request. <laughs> Say, Chiefy, did you hear the one about the traveling salesman? Hey, Chiefy, is that your nose or are you eating a banana? I know a cat who bites his nails so much his stomach needs a manicure. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, you're not going to do that, are you? <laughs> no, please, stop. No. <laughs> I know a cat who's so lazy his feet hurt before he gets out of bed. <laughs> oh, stop, please. No more jokes. <laughs> I knew a guy who carried a club to a ball game because the lions and tigers were playing. <laughs> I know a girl who's so classy she has alligator bags under her eyes. Come on, gang, let's scram! Let's ace this place without a drink! Booga booga! <laughs> Quick, let's get on that boat! Well, that was some kind of skiing trip you took us on, Riff Raff. Yeah, I wonder how we ended up here in the first place. We were supposed to be on the slopes, but we ended up like dopes. This is the first time we've really been able to rest in a few days. Yeah, but one thing still puzzles me. How did we end up in the jungle when we were going to Ski Mountain? Elementary, my dear boy, elementary. A few strokes of crayon and you were rerouted. You! Why, we were almost finished! I'm gonna mongrelize you, you butt! When I catch you, I'm gonna mail you to the moon! Well, you know, here I go! Yikes. Ruin my vacation, will ya? You're going on a long trip, Leroy. Hey, birdie, wordy. Spike's got you. Way off the bird. I only wanted to help the little guy. Spike, that bird's a fledgling. He's just learning to fly. If you interrupt this lesson, even though you mean well, you could hurt him. So leave baby to the birds. He'll be happiest learning from mom. I get the point. 